India's water crisis isn't just coming. It's already here. But so are the solution. This road I'm on never floods. It gulps down rainwater, cleans it and saves it for a drought. Its secret? Replacing concrete drains with eco blocks. Honeycombs that are made from recycled plastic that lasts for 50 years and clean road runoff before sending to massive hidden tanks. One installation of EcoBlocks in Chennai brought a temple tank back to life after 12 dry years. All it took was just one monsoon. The brain behind it, R.R. Sivaram, who saw Chennai drown in the 2015 floods and dry up in the 2019 water crisis, and said, enough. Thanks to him, EcoBlocks have saved over 50 million litres of water. Enough to fill 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. But this isn't just clever engineering trick. It's a direct response to one of the most critical paradoxes of 21st century India. 18% of world's people, 4% of its water, and yet we waste over 90% of the rain we get. We are a monsoon-rich nation, but also a water-poor one. In fact, a Niti Aayog report says 21 major cities, including Delhi and Bengaluru, will run out of groundwater by 2030. 40% of Indians might not have drinking water. The scale of the problem is too big to grasp. So let's break it down. Why is a simple technology like water-absorbing roads so crucial for our future? The answer lies in a perfect storm of six interconnected crises. Let's get to know them a little better and meet the new generation of water warriors building specific scalable solution for each challenge. First, the crisis of our cities. As we pave over natural sponges in our landscapes, we create what hydrologists call urban deserts. Rain can no longer recharge the ground. Instead, it hits concrete and becomes a destructive flood carrying pollution into our rivers and the sea. We are literally throwing away our annual water endowment. This is why the same cities flood in monsoon and run dry in summer. It's a design flaw. RR Siviram's eco blocks are direct fix. By replacing concrete drains with permeable systems, he is turning city streets into massive, decentralized recharge points. He's not just preventing floods. He's actively building a new urban aquifer with every rainfall. Second, and most critical, the crisis on our farms. Farming uses 80 to 90% of India's fresh water. Of that, almost 70% is from rapidly depleting groundwater. The problem isn't that farmers use water, it's how they use it. Over reliance on water intensive crops and inefficient irrigation. A 2023 UN report highlighted that northwestern India is one of the world's fastest growing groundwater depletion zones. We are mining water faster than nature can replenish it. And the implications can be catastrophic for our rural economy. Amla Ruya, the Czech dam dadi, attacked this problem at its root. She has built over 350 small, low-cost check dams that haven't just provided water, they have revived the water table in 400 parched villages of Rajasthan. By slowing down rainwater in riverbeds, these check dams allow it to percolate and recharge the very aquifer farmers depend on. Amla's work has replaced groundwater extraction with replenishment. The third challenge, the loss of community ownership over water. When a local pond becomes a dumping ground, it's a symbol of a broken relationship with a shared resource. Ramveer Tanwar, the pond man, fixes this by fixing the community first. His Jal Chopals are the starting point. He doesn't just bring machines to dig, he brings people together to talk, decide and act. By reviving over 80 ponds, he is reviving the idea that water is everyone's responsibility. 
the solution is social as much as it is technical the fourth challenge is wasted opportunity the average apartment building has a huge rooftop a perfect rainwater catchment area but the water usually just flows into storm drain bengaluru's ganesh shanbagh makes harvesting this water a no brainer his simple standardized plug and play rainwater harvesting systems slash water bills and reduce the burden on city water supplies by empowering over 300 societies to become self reliant he is creating a distributed network of water security one building at a time the fifth challenge is our historical amnesia our ancestors built brilliant water structures like step wells that were both architectural marvels and functional rainwater harvesters we have forgotten them letting them fill with trash hyderabad's kalpana ramesh looks at these forgotten step wells and sees potential not ruins by mobilizing citizens to restore them she's not just creating tourist attractions she's bringing ancient massive rainwater harvesting systems back online it's a powerful lesson Sometimes the best solutions are already there waiting to be rediscovered. The final challenge is the vicious cycle in drought prone areas. You need energy, often expensive diesel to pump water. But without water, you can't grow anything to afford the energy. Avni Mohan Singh cuts this knot with the sun by setting up solar powered water systems in over 1550 villages in Bundelkhand. he provides a free sustainable energy source to access water these are just feel good stories this is a blueprint that solutions do exist and that they are the only way forward we cannot just build more massive centralized dams and pipelines the solution lies in decentralized distributed water management millions of small scale interventions recharge wells in parks green water harvesting in every building rejuvenated lakes that act as aquifers green energy and treated waste water for irrigation and industry why is this a national imperative because water is not just a social good it's also an economic one the world bank estimates that water scarcity could shave off up to 6% of india's gdp the cost of inaction is far greater than the cost of action investing in water security means investing in economic stability it means more resilient agriculture more livable cities and less conflict over a scarce resource this is why at the better india showcase 2025 we celebrated these water warriors and the incredible revolutions that they are leading we did this with a singular hope that their stories would inspire many more to start there were proofs that action no matter how local it may seem it's never insignificant it's not about solving national crises overnight it's about being a part of it your action doesn't have to be building a check dam maybe it's finally installing a rainwater harvesting at your home maybe it's having a conversation in your apartment committee about grey water recycling maybe it's just joining a local pond clean up or simply sharing this video with someone who needs to see that change is possible you are adding your brick to the foundation of a water secure india the repel begins with one individual who takes a step and then this repel becomes a wave a movement towards the better india so what's your brick going to be What's one small change you've seen or made in your community? We're genuinely curious. Tell us about it in the comments below and let's inspire each other. If you believe in solutions, then hit that like button. Share this story of hope and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and thank you for being a part of the change, for being a part of the better India.